introducing the Quick Stick Rafter and Truss Fastening System, the new standard for overhead fastener installations of rafter and truss assemblies. The Quick Stick is lightweight, easy to use, and compatible with most drills, even cordless ones, eliminating the need for ladders, power nailers, and compressor lines. To begin, attach the quick stick to your driver by inserting the hex drive shaft into the drill or driver motor's chuck. Next, push down on the head of the quick stick to expose the bit holder. Insert a T30 bit until the holder clicks. To ensure the quick stick is properly installed, cycle the tool through an installation motion, sliding the drive shaft through the guide sleeve while the driver motor is running. Next, locate the bubble level and rotate for an ideal viewing position. The level easily slides up and down and locks into place in either the head or the handle. Load a 6-inch strong drive SDWC truss screw into the holder between the positioning prongs of the head. There are five different ways to attach a truss using the quick stick. Straight up, top plate edge, wide face, narrow face, and stud corner. When studs and trusses are offset, you may choose to drill directly upward into the top plate. Holding both the drill and extension arm, position the head in the center of the top plate so it aligns with the center of the rafter or truss. Ensure that the center line guide is perpendicular to the top plate. Drive the truss screw with minimal pressure allowing the drill and the screw to do the work. Pull the head back to ensure the screw is flush with the top plate. When members are offset, you can also choose to attach at the top plate edge. Position the head so that the prongs straddle the bottom edge of the top plate and the inner angle guide is perpendicular to the top plate. Alternatively, you can use the bubble to determine a 22 degree installation angle. Drive the screw up through the top plate. When members are aligned, one option is to drive along the wide face of the stud. Place the prongs where the stud and top plate meet. If members are not perfectly aligned, use the rocker arms to adjust the head and aim the center line to the center of the truss. Sight along the center line so the head aligns with the rafter or truss. If offset from the stud, be sure to install the screw on the overhanging side. Drive the screw through the top plate and into the rafter or truss until flush. In obstructed situations like a window header, you may also choose to attach at the narrow face of the stud when members are aligned. Adjust the bubble level so it is positioned adjacent to the center line guide. Pull the head back, exposing the screw. Place the tip of the screw at the seam between the stud and the top plate at an approximate 45 degree angle. Embed the first two threads into the top plate. Then rotate the tool down so the bubble appears level in the window. This ensures an appropriate installation angle. Then drive the screw. If members are aligned and space allows, attach at the stud corner. Position the head so the prongs straddle the bottom edge of the top plate. Using the stud for stability, roll the prongs until the inner angle guide is perpendicular to the top plate. A bubble will appear in the level window. Then, sight along the center line guide to complete the proper compound angle. Drive the screw through the top plate and into the rafter or truss until flush. Questions? Contact Simpson Strong Tie Technical Support at 800 999 5099 or visit strongtie.com/quickstick